Hi everyone, so in this video I actually wanted to come and talk to you about a local magazine for um, married couples or people who are getting married and I know that if you watch Yanni Budable's channel you would have seen that she also did a video on this magazine and I thought that I would come in here and do one because it's just so amazing. So, well, I'm not getting married right now and I really don't have any intentions of doing so um, anytime in the near future but I still wanted to come in and show you guys um, what this is about because I think it's just totally amazing. So, the name of the magazine is Marriage and Bliss and it's actually the product of the married couple Carla Mendez Ambrus and Kenroy Ambrus. So, this is what it looks like. That's it, Marriage and Bliss, right? And um, this is the January 2013 issue, and this is the eighth issue that they have released. Um, their first release was actually in June 2009, and I guess that they've been doing pretty well since then, seeing that they're still doing it, and it's still in production, and it's totally amazing. And um, Carla, I actually was very you know, lucky to get to meet with her because she gave me a copy and um, she also got some stuff from my online store, Shopaholics Anonymous as well. And this is Carla here on this page there. And that's Carla. And this is just a little introduction that she gives at the beginning of the magazine. And I suppose that they do that in all of their magazines because this actually tells you what you can expect from this issue and in this issue that I have here they talk about um, how to plan an outdoor wedding um, how to compromise in the wedding planning and the significance of the wedding balls as well as some other things so I actually thought that this was really amazing I really enjoyed this issue and um, throughout the one thing that I need to let you know is that all of the photographs in here are done by Kenroy Ambrose. He is actually a photographer and he does the photography and video and the videography for weddings. So if you're interested in getting someone to do your photography or your video production for your wedding, you can definitely contact them and they do offer those services as well. So um, here we have the significance of the marriage vows and that's that right there. And what I really liked about this article is that it touched on the major religious um, ceremonies that we have right here in Trinidad and Tobago. And I find that was a really nice touch because it wasn't just focused on one um, group of people, but they had the significance of the vows for Christian weddings, for Hindu weddings. For Muslim weddings and they also touched on the legal significance and what I liked about it as well is that they weren't just writing a report on it but they actually got the um, opinions of some of the leaders in these different groups here we have the on the cover story which I think was really nice Patrice and Anselm and that's what it looks like so that was really really nice and as you can see, she's just a beautiful bride. And again, all of these pictures were taken by Kenroy Ambrose. Then there is also another story in here, a new trend in tying the knot. And I actually find this was really, really interesting because as a lot of you may know, especially if you're a woman, even if you're not married, you do spend a lot of time thinking about how you would like your wedding to be. You want the perfect wedding. And even though I was not always like that, I must admit, like growing up, I was like, oh, I want to get married and I know what dress I'm going to wear. Um, that has only been something true for me like within the past year. It's really like a year now I actually started thinking about um, getting married and certain things that I would like in my wedding and how I like my dress to be and what I want for my, um, what I want the theme of my wedding to be. And so I have only recently started getting very excited about that. And I think it's because I only recently fell in love with someone who means a lot to me my boyfriend of course and I think that when you reach that stage and when you feel totally comfortable with someone and you know that this is a person that you want to spend the rest of your life with 
things like that kind of just fall into place. So yeah, touchy. <laughs> That's like an oh, but <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> um, so what I like about this magazine is that even though I'm not married and I'm not thinking about getting married like anytime soon, like within a year or anything like that, I found something in here that was really, really interesting, something that I absolutely love. And that is a new trend in tying the knot. And this is basically the significance of the sand ceremony. And I honestly never heard about this before, but this is the article. And as you can see, that's a married couple, and there is a jar of sand, and they're both pouring sand into it. And I'm going to show you this next one. There is also an, a twist to that sand ceremony where if the couple has a child um, before they got married, or if a partner had a child from a previous relationship, we see here where the child is actually pouring the sand into the same jar as well. So because I like this story, I'm just going to give you like a little lowdown on this. Basically what the sand ceremony is, it's a, a symbol of these two individuals coming as one. And usually these sands are in different colors, like, well, my would probably be red and my boyfriend's favorite color is black, so it would be red and black, signifying the two of us, our favorite colors, and then pouring it into one jar. You see where the two colors blend, although they are different, but you can barely see where they separate so you know that two become one kind of thing um they also talk about how the sand ceremony is also kind of like the candle ceremony where you like one candle from two candles and they also talk about how you can have the parents from each side of the wedding party also pouring their sands into the jar to signify their their acceptance or their support for this new union so that was really nice like props i love that and here we have well some more um pictures and we also have the icing on the cake and we are seeing different wedding cakes here so that was nice i like how they touch base on like everything and of course there are a lot of advertising going on in here like we have the guest factor which is i find this is cool where you have um they set up this thing where your guests can actually make a video um telling you like you know wishing you luck and stuff like that so i find that was nice and that's from the guest factor and it starts from 3500 tt for the rental of that so that was cool then they also give you different locations like jr and the convention center that's here and well the guest factor here so i like that um they have a lot of advertising so this is like a kind of all-in-one they even have something with a honeymoon package well travel services so that you can contact these people they also have an advertisement here for bar services as you can see so this is kind of like an, an all-in-one kind of book like you pick up this book and you have great ideas on where to go to honeymoon great ideas of where you can have your wedding um photography stuff like that so it's really nice i love that here's another picture i find these two pictures are really cute as well and again as i said i love how we are seeing the different cultures in trinidad so that's amazing to pick um we even have like an advertisement here for like after your marriage like when you're setting up your house and stuff like cabinets actually i think i'm gonna contact these people because i like this they have some really nice storage ideas here so that's another thing um, oh, and they even have a movie review here. Colin did a review on the couple's treat with Vince, the couple's retreat with Vince Vaughn. So that was a nice, fun little touch inside of there. And um, the rules of the husband and the wife. I find this was interesting. This article, this was a good read where they show you um, the different leaders of the different religious groups in Trinidad giving their opinion on the difference between marriages now and back then, the role of the husband, the role of the wife, etc. And it was kind of interesting to see um, what they felt the role should be, even though I probably did not agree with most of them, but you know, it's good to be open minded. The Art of Compromise, that was a nice article as well 
and they also have a section here on stealing your bride um, sorry not stealing your bride but on strange wedding practices and it actually shows you a little bit about different practices around the world and how they may be strange to us so that was nice and let me see here they also give an article explaining why the ring goes on the ring finger and the significance of this in different cultures and then we have some more pictures here of some brides and some grooms on their wedding day. So, these are the brides and these are the grooms. Okay, so I find that this magazine, all in all, it was really well put together. And again, one more thing, planning your wedding during pregnancy. I loved that article, planning your wedding during pregnancy. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, marriage before, you know, you have children, blah, blah, blah. This is my thing. We live in a different type of world. And sometimes it's better to try to give alternatives and accept the way that the world is instead of being ignorant to certain things. So I like how they, I find it was really nice of them to step outside of the box and tell you certain things that you should be in mind when planning your wedding during pregnancy. For example, how far away is your wedding? Um, how big will you be in that time? Will you be able to fit into your dress? Things like that. So that was nice. And then the last thing that they had here, which I find was just absolutely amazing, was the then and now. And this shows you couples who have been married for over 40 years. And we have one here married for 57 years and one married for 50 years. And it shows you the picture on your wedding day and then a picture of them now. So this is the first couple here. This is the second couple here. And I think that this is really an adorable addition to this magazine. I absolutely love the fact that they did this. And of course, to the end of the magazine, we just have some, you know, some fun stuff here. You have a Sudoku as well as a puzzle to the back here. So that was fun. This was nice. So. This is a magazine, Marriage and Bliss, and I think that it was well put together, well thought out. I absolutely loved it. And this is Carla's husband here, Henry. And then to the back here, we just have some pictures. So, what you need to know. This magazine is actually featured twice a year. They do a release twice a year. I'm guessing one is in January and the other one is probably June, July. So the next issue will be coming out in a month or two. So you guys can definitely look out for that. And um, again, this, ma this magazine focuses on the wedding day as well as marriage. So it tells you how to plan your wedding, what to expect on your wedding day, as well as what to expect after you are married. They also wants you to know that if you would like to contact them for anything like advertising, distribution, and if you know anyone who's been married for more than 40 years who would like to be featured in the then and now, you can definitely contact them via email at info at ambermediatt.com. I will leave the link to their email below and I will also leave a link to their Facebook page which is Marriage and Bliss the Magazine. So, let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love this magazine. I will be getting a copy of the next um, issue. And I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but here is a spoiler alert. In the next issue, they are going to be featuring a couple. And I think it was just be like totally amazing. The, the couple is handicapped, legally handicapped. So I'm not going to tell you like exactly what but I think it's totally amazing because she kind of gave me a sneak peek of what is to come and so I'm really excited to get the next issue to read it. Um, the issue sells for 40 TT per copy or 8 US per copy and um, it is available free to you if you are getting married. You are eligible to get a free copy. If not, you can contact them and it's 40 TT for an issue. So I hope you guys like this. I hope that you guys will support because I love supporting local things and of course you can join my Facebook group you can follow me on, tw on Twitter at XOAnnaBaby1989 that's below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.